So you, I just made two videos about the PlayStation 1 Classic. Now here's a third one. Um, I said I was going to take it apart. But we took it apart, but this happened where uh, my buddy Matt actually figured out how to access the emulator settings inside the PlayStation 1 Classic. And it's extremely easy. And you have all the settings inside of here. We can't get beyond here. So I actually have my buddy Matt here with us right now. Hello. And uh, Matt, I want you to tell everybody how you figured out how to get into the uh, emulator settings. So basically all I did was I took a USB keyboard and plugged it in. And then I went into one of the games and hit escape, and then that gave me all of the access to the emulator itself. So, it was pretty simple. You can have a lot of settings on there, like you can mess around with the frame rates and, you know, do all the stuff the emulator can if you were to access it from a PC, like time skips and cheats and all that, so. Now, there was one point where, it'll be in the video... Um, where I majorly screwed this thing up messing around with the settings. Like, I glitched it out like crazy, and you'll see it in a little bit. So, uh, I guess, major disclaimer, that we don't know if this can destroy your console or not. So, yeah. do it at your own risk. I don't know. Yeah. We don't know. Especially if you aren't good at, like, messing around with menus. Just be careful with doing it, and, you know, I would just say avoid it at all costs if you're not really used to doing it. Because you have the potential to completely destroy your PS Mini, so. And I think actually right here is where I messed it up. Um, well, I, I don't actually, I don't know. Yeah. I think it was one of the settings in here. I think the software filter that I put on for this particular game made it not work. Mm. Boom! Look how oh, screwed nice. up it is! I screwed it up! You see that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's great. <laughs> that's so awesome. So, totally at your own risk. Uh, disclaimer, whatever you want to yeah. say. Be careful. We are, we're still playing around with it. Uh, it's just really cool that you can change some of these settings, add scan lines, and and so forth. And if there's a way into the emulator that's so simple, there's got to be a way to get beyond the emulator, um, which somebody's going to figure out. So uh, this just happened, so I apologize for the low-quality footage. This is my test monitor, and I literally just put a camera on the screen just to make the video pretty much immediately right after this happened uh, to show you guys uh, huge thanks to Matt for figuring that out. You got it. Which is really cool. And, and what'd you do? What'd you do before you did the, before you plugged it into a keyboard? Oh, I took it apart and just sort of looked at it and saw, tried to figure out where we could possibly get in to bypass the operating system. But I couldn't really figure anything from the circuit board, so I just figured why not plug in a USB keyboard, see what happens. And when you plugged it into the computer, mm -hmm. it nothing. You got nothing, right? Yeah, no, I tried to originally plug it into a computer to, like, establish a data connection, but it just didn't go. So I was like, whatever, you know, we'll try it out. <laughs> so, and uh, while you weren't in the room, but I actually see how there's the mouse cursor in the top left-hand corner. Oh, did you get that working? No, I, I plugged a mouse cursor, or I plugged in a USB mouse into it, mm -hmm. and I couldn't move the mouse. Yeah. So that didn't work. Yeah. But, I mean, oh well. Yeah, we'll play around with it, see what happens. So uh, thank you, anybody, for, for watching this. Uh, I hope this was really, really cool, and uh, it's really simple to do. Be careful because, like you saw, I glitched it out real bad. There's a reset in there where you could reset the settings, so I was able to do that and get it to be back to normal. Hopefully somebody else who uh, can use this information to figure out more or who knows, but it was really cool, really exciting. Thing just came out today. Uh, third video about the thing, and I haven't made a video in five months. So, nice little uh, little comeback to YouTube. And uh, thank you guys very much. Uh, follow me on social media. Whatever social media you like, just type in Retro Gaming Arts into it, and then you can see updates about whatever we're doing with this. All right. So, uh, thanks, Matt, thank for you. figuring this out literally in 30 seconds. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you guys next time.